Good morning. Can you hear that? I just said something to the printer. It's not going well. <laughs> it's not going well, Chad. Good morning. One dog night, 50 months of subbing. Mike, 48 months of subbing. Let's go. How are y'all doing? <laughs> I was trying to do too many things at once, and now, as one does, when you do those things, you break things. The printer sounds like a dead cat. Ooh, look out for that. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think y'all can hear that. All I hear is birds outside. Well, it sounds like birds inside here. Sorry, I keep looking. I can see the printer from here and I'm... Nice haircut, finally. Finally, we were long overdue that haircut, I promise you that. Test 54 months of sub and let's go. Let's go. I guess I'm I'm guess I'm feeling St. Patrick. I didn't even think about it, but like literally I have green on everywhere today and didn't really do St. Patrick's Day. So there you go. Happy St. Patrick's Day, belatedly. I guess I am sort of Irish. So my last name, Dowdy, comes from the O'Dowds in Ireland. So I have I have a little Irish in me. Little old O'Dowd action. <clears throat> so good morning. I like that green color on you. I like it on me too. I appreciate that. All right, I need to go. See, I I just need to go check this printer real quick. I apologize. This was my mistake from trying to trying to do too many things at once. Bef right before I start. Oh, it worked. Somehow. I think it was just a very poor quality, poor quality image. Um, I have to do that. All right. Hi. My name is Brad, and I like pens. So uh, that's what we're talking about today, chat. We're talking about pens. I need to audit this stash I have going. Uh, been doing a really good, uh, good job of filling the stash. I have not been doing a good job of keeping up with the stash. So. <clears throat> Studio Neat latest Mark I LE Lagoon has shipped. They are very special and green. You decided to get up and listen? Appreciate that. Appreciate that. So, Conan released today. Brad, get to. Do y'all want to send me a link? I'm not noticing these Conan releases. Do you have a link? That last one was pretty sick. I mean, not for me, but uh, I'm curious. Um, this is what I'm up to recently. So we can talk about that later. We can guess the ink that Brad chose to ink it with. <sighs> Apricot. Let's talk about it now. We can talk about it now. I was going to look at this Conan, though, if y'all have the link. Where's Boss Baker Chris? Boss Baker Chris probably has the link. Oh, speaking of let's get things started, where's Toby? He usually, once I start, once there's no one in the house and then I start talking to the computer, he usually gets amped up. I have no idea where that dog is at. Toby! Oh no. I hear him running from across the house. I also made me wonder because I hear the trash truck outside and he usually barks and he wasn't. Uh, excuse me, sir. What were you doing? Toby, come here. Toby. This is very sketchy, Chad. Yes, you purchased one. Boss Baker Chris will send me the link. Send me the link. I'll, 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 I'll give you all the first link. Toby. So I'll start with the links. I have the... Lamy Safari Pink Cliff Fountain Pen and Ink Giveaway up on the blog today. So that is the blog giveaway. There we go, Slumberland. Ha, Slumberland wins. All right, we'll go back to this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> 
I really like the Blackberry a lot more than I would. It's really good. I really like them both. So this one I have the ink and the um, ink and the fountain pen extra fine nib. Uh, Naperville and Good Morning Brad got the ink and goodies. Thanks. Not sure if the ink got any better in a swatch. It's like an invisible ink that gets to barely visible as it dries. We'll have to find a broad nib to see if it's even usable in a pen. So if you weren't here. <laughs> Naperville had the good fortune of winning the worst fountain pen of ink ever. I probably should have reviewed that. So when people ask me what's one of the worst products you've ever reviewed, I could say that. <laughs> good morning, Rewizzles. So yeah, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I'll have to just uh, break out another bo bottle of that. Um, I can't even remember the name of it. <clears throat> All right, so... Um, that's the giveaway on the Pinac blog today. We'll obviously do some giveaways here today, at least one. Um, I don't know how long we'll stream today, but we'll, we'll just go for it for a while and, uh, we'll have at least one giveaway, maybe two for feeling good. All right. What do we think about Le Conide? Let's find out. Colorverse. Yeah. Colorverse that name. Colorverse that name. All right. Man, that's pretty slick. All right, let's get in big in. So if nothing else, Conid does clean lines very well. I always appreciate them for this. So we're, uh, was the last one a titanium nib or no? Hey, Zane's dad, you're right on time. So this is a more classic Conid design, like some of the general aesthetics that they started with. I don't know if this is like a one-to-one -one um, comparison to what they've done before, but this is a very, where the last, oh, there's the t titanium nib, where the last one with the purple acrylic was very different, this is a very conid -y pen, like that is like super conid, which is great, I like this a lot, that's really sharp, but check the price, I mean, they're always like very expensive, is that good or bad? That's just what these go for now. Like a thousand bucks. I think the purple one was like 1300. So this is what, 995 euro. So yeah, very expensive. How many of these are they making? They made like two of the last one. How many are they making? Is this one limited at all? I am. I think all their pins are limited at this point. <laughs> Nine ninety five plus nib, gotcha. So like another three bills on top. So yeah, they're stupid expensive. Yeah. Choose a nib price goes up fourteen double broad. SD Redneck twelve months of subbing. You subbed like weeks ago. Thanks Twitch. Mine do that too. SD Redneck. It's very, very strange. Like, I will literally have just subbed, and then, like, a week later, it'll say, hey, look. So, yeah. Did I make it back? It's questionable. Is that how do we know it's really you? How do we know it's really you? Oh, there's a new word. Rodinated. Rhodium plated is now known as rodinated. <laughs> Rodinated. <laughs> I'm in. Count me in. What kind of finishes on that? It's rodinated. This kind of stuff happened in the knife world with some maker stuff going for way over what it's actually worth due to overhype and scarcity. Like you can't even say what it's worth. Right? Like worth is like almost like a meaningless, meaningless uh <laughs> Uh, gauge of anything like it's crazy expensive they make like four and they charge a lot i saw a notco brass town in a wild youtube video this week so i did too uh should we show it um do you have the link handy i could dig it out of my email someone emailed it to me uh it was very cool i was astonished it was just so random um do you have the link handy and we can watch it real quick Good morning, Thule. I think it's worth watching. Uh, where did I get that email? You have a clip, one sec? Okay, yeah, send that. It'll take. I think it'll take me longer to find it because I think it's in my member's email and that's not linked into this computer. 
Someone's service dog had an accident in the hallway, so I'm off. Okay. I don't even know what that means. <clears throat> All right. Check this out. This is wild. I got sent this this weekend. All right. So this is like a Nerf. This guy was making like a Nerf gun, right? And he was going through like the construction process of it. Just randomly. He's looking for a drill bit. This video has like 40,000 views. And he's just busting out the brads. <laughs> SD even clipped it in the right spot. So this is like a 14, 13, 12 minute video of him making a Nerf gun. He just busts out the brass town to get the drill bit. How rad is that? Someone sent me that this weekend, and I was like, what am I? Plus, it looks like my like original Brass Town with that yellow Lamy Safari. Uh, that chartreuse one. It's like, all right, can we identify all the pins? Let's try. Let's see if I can pause it. All right. Oh, okay. So that's a pilot of some sort with that clip, right? And then a vanishing point. Probably looks kind of decimo-y. Um, safari. Is that a pelican clip? So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. I don't know if we can get a better view. So it's a, it's a couple of pilots, a safari, and probably a pelican, so. Next rickshaw collab. There has been emails. It's not a lot of movement, but there's been emails. But anyway, um, So yeah, it's like a 13 minute video. Yeah, let's like nothing about, so that that was it. That was just like this weird cameo appearance. Appearance. How cool is that? <laughs> that somewhat, when someone sent me the video, it's like, hey, you should check this video out. Like if you don't want to watch all like 12 minutes of it, you should go to like around the four minute mark. And uh, there's a surprise there. That's not the surprise I was considering at all. Mark is a very busy guy. So <laughs> that was wild. <sighs> it does look like a pelican. Yeah. Hey, he can drop them on the table if they're in a brass town, neighbor villain. Just chuck it around. But yeah, I should reach out to I should reach out to this guy and say, hey, that was sick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, I got some of my. All right, so let's get this. Hey, there's the dog. Hey, Toby, what have you been doing? Hmm, why do you look so guilty? Answer me. You're 15 minutes late. All right. I'm probably in for a surprise once I end stream. Yeah, he's he's silent. He's in, he's he's pleading the fifth right now. All right. Let's see what we got, y'all. All right, let's play guess what ink Brad inked the apricot with apricot pearl enjoy your lurk mafia geek apricot pearl kaveco the new iridescent one i uh i <laughs> toby's actually looking at the printer so i'm looking in the same direction yeah yeah so you can't quite get all the iridescence in this in this lighting so I will say a very good surprise, a very pleasant surprise, and it's not this ink. You can see I have a cartridge in here. Um, 
they shipped it with the sunset orange cartridge that they sell. Sale. God, I sound like Lisa Van S there. Wow. They sail it. So it ships instead of like their regular Kaveco blue, like royal blue or whatever, it ships with sunrise orange, which was awesome. So what did I choose here? So how about color first and then we'll um we'll decide on uh we'll we'll narrow it down. Um so far no one has picked the right color, so that should tell you it's not an orange. Lamy Mango would actually be pretty good. They did that with the infrared perky, perky, perkyo as well. You're exactly right, Toga. I think that's really smart. It is a cartridge. Did I refill the cartridge? Hmm. It's a it's a cartridge though. It's a non refilled cartridge, so it's a stock cartridge. Purple, purple is correct. Purple is a very good guess. I did not know what to ink this with. <laughs> Uh, green was the number one choice, but I had enough green. OSU, 48 months of subbing. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing orangey. Um, green was my first choice, and I chose not to. Morning, Gamma Gamma. So green was my first choice, and I was like, eh, I don't know. I've been using a lot of green recently. I don't think I have any green inked up right now. But I think it's because I've been using a lot of green. So we went with a purple. Now, if I told you, so it's a cartridge, purple. So it has to be in there. This is a terrible game, just like for the record. Like, this is boring. Megalini, first day of your new job. Go get them today. Hope it goes well. Um, don't get caught uh, watching me on stream. Over the St. Patrick's holiday, you failed to choose green. I mean, I make it up for it today, didn't I? Purple and apricot is way better than green. Yeah, but it did have some green iridescence in here, right? So I was thinking, eh, maybe a little matchy-matchy. Um, so we went with purple. Um, notice I've done. we have gold trim and look. I did the gold clip too, like you couldn't tell that already. Does it take international carts? Yes. So short international cartridge, diamine, purple, one of diamine's purples. Um, it's a very musical purple. Um, it's related to a band that I know and love here in the Georgia area. Extra fine. This nib has been fantastic for the record. So uh, yeah, it is a uh, it is a purple. When I leave the nib uncapped, it does dry out pretty good. So I was using it a bunch yesterday, and I noticed that. So what band related purple from Diamine am I using? Nishi, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Purple Twins, G, Herbon, Violet, Violet, Pincy, 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 Jewel, Monbado, no. I know y'all can't really see it from there. It looks Imperial Purple. That would be a good choice. That's one of my favorite colors. It is not Imperial Purple. There are only thousands of inks. Well, we have thousands of hours to figure it out, SD Redneck. And I've narrowed it down to a diamine purple that's related to a band that I love here in my native state of Georgia. I don't know. That's a, that's a lot of... I mean, it's a very, it's a very tricky... It's a very tricky uh, clue, I will admit... Bilberry, Flynn Raccoon gets it. Drive by truck or purple? No, <laughs> it's Bilberry, Diamine Bilberry, Diamine Bilberry. You have to be a real big loser like myself to get that joke. <laughs> Diamine Bilberry, yes, <laughs> it's one of my favorite jokes of all time that literally no one gets. <laughs> What's a Bill Berry? It's not a Peter Buck. I don't know bands past REM. It is REM. It's REM's drummer, Bill Berry. <laughs> REM, Bill Berry. Wow. Maybe the worst joke ever on stream. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I don't even know. Momo asked, what is a Bill Berry? I don't even know. It's just not a Peter Buck. I know that. <laughs> Terrible, awful joke. I know, but one of my favorites. That's I, I can't not say this. Whenever I use this ink, it's a really good ink, by the way. It's kind of blurperly, blurperly. Jacob, Jacob's is actually right. It's um, um, it's marketed as a blurple. I'm gonna show you. Like, this is an extra fine nib, so I'm not getting a ton of ink out of it, right? To show y'all, um, it very, it's not that far from a imperial purple, and I don't get a lot of blue out of this ink, honestly. So it's just like a really solid purple to me, just a good dark purple. Super close to Lamy Blackberry, like Violet Blackberry. Mm, maybe the underlying tone. I have it right here. We'll check. I love Kaveco EF nibs. Always sound like graphite. This one's pretty smooth. This one is one of the finer EFs that I've used. Um, so, yeah. It's been a good one. You know, they're not the finest nibs on the planet, right? but it looks good. So I'll see, so the Diamine, excuse me, the Lamy Blackberry is in a nib on the complete other end of the spectrum in width and wetness. So I don't know how good I'm going to get to compare these two. A Bilberry is a European blueberry. Gotcha. Don't give it up, Brad. What did I do? Oh, yeah, this is one of the better nibs that I've gotten. Like, this one is... Su I, could, I could tell when I got this one out of the package. Like, it was, like, really pointy in, like, a good way. Uh, let's see if I can make a small. Like, this thing makes it so sheeny, this nib. Yeah, to me, they really don't look alike. I mean, this is very much darker. And this is just a big, juicy, broad nib. Sometimes you win the Kaveco nib lottery. That's why I stick with the EFs. You, people start to get problems when they go into F, um, F and uh, M. There's a Fraggle Rock Retro? No, I need to see that. I have a friend named William Berry and he hates it when I call him Bill Berry. Yeah. Do an ink smear. It's going to be hard to smear the um, Bill Berry. Let's see if I can get it. Got a Kaveco EF from Dan Smith. Had him check it and smooth and it's amazing. Had been brave enough to get any EF straight from the box. It's, yeah. This is where... I don't even think this is going to smear well. Yeah, like, this This is such a fine nib, it's not going to uh, really, really do well. Sport Piston is supposed to hold one, mi one milliliter. All right, we'll look at this uh, Fraggle Rock thing here in just a second. The BBs are great, too. One milliliter of Ankh. Man, I was a huge Fraggle Rock guy. This is going to be a problem. Smear it with your finger? What kind of stream do you think this is? Down in Fraggle Rock. Mm -mm. Down in Fraggle Rock. Mm -mm. All right. There's Bill Berry. <laughs> I'll give you all a closer up of this. It's really, it doesn't seem close. And there's Violet Blackberry. Smear with your eyeball next. <laughs> dance, Brad, dance. The, I mean, you love, that was so smart. This was very accurate. This is much, now, now we're talking. Do they still offer premium nibs? They do, but they're a separate uh, purchase. Yes, I. we haven't had to... Uh, <laughs> what did I do, Hannah? 
Oh, I don't mind getting ink on my fingers. So you can see that they're, they're pretty different. And the sheen on Violet Blackberry is much stronger. But you can get a little sheen in Bilberry. So. I think the doozers are actually farming fraggles. Could be. All right, let's see what this looks like. I'm curious. So anyway. Um... <laughs> This looks like bilberries. Maybe they're maybe they're hunting the bilberries. Bro. Oh, it's actually called Down and Fraggle Rock. Doom doom down and fraggle rock. This is way better looking than the one that I came up with. <laughs> I, I'm I'm just reading the uh, I'm reading the uh, image. I mean, I'm reading the the description here. Oh, it's like etched. Boy, this looked like lacquered, but it's actually silver etched. This is way better. This is way cooler than the one I came up with. Jeez, man. This is crazy. Oh, there's a gold one. This makes me want to quit. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, I guess I... Looks like I'm getting me a Fraggle Rock Retro. I like the silver one though. That one. That's sick. Anyone see the new Jetstream pens and ink? Um, what do you have? I'm not familiar with the new um, uh, Jetstream. Yeah, I think I like the silver. Oh god, no. <laughs> my 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 pen and attic retro is kindergarten level compared to this. What did I whoosh? Did I whoosh something? <laughs> Am I too young to know what Fraggle Rock is? Possibly. Yeah. It's it's uh what was it, Tay Day? 80s? So in the 80s. So Terps, what's the new Jetstream stuff? So actually I want to put this in the uh Yeah, 80s HBO. Yeah. <laughs> It ran for several seasons. 87. Fraggle Rock, Rock was on our geology field trip music playlist. That's awesome. Uh, see you, Nobod. All right. Gig, sir. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Hope you're here. Hope you like Fraggle Rock. New ocean, new light touch ink. Oh, that sound that doesn't that doesn't inspire confidence in me. <laughs> new fancy follow graphics. No, those are actually stock uh, stock graphics. But if you like them and you think they're fancy, I will take it. So Fraggle Rock Retro. So where can I see these new jet streams? Okay, so here's a question for y'all. So I'll be talking about this pin on the podcast tomorrow. Will Mike ever have seen an episode of Fraggle Rock? Uni's Japanese IG page? Okay. Well, Mike will know. Mike will have heard of Fraggle Rock. I feel like he's dialed in enough. Will Mike have ever seen an episode of Fraggle Rock? Yeah, this is wild. Mike will be oblivious. Mike will not know at all. Yeah, Mike's pretty young. <clears throat> K 
can they do gummy bears next? Like a like a uh, Haribo pin would be pretty good. Just through cultural osmosis. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, Paul. Like he's heard of it, but has never seen an episode or n would have no idea what it is. That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. All right, let me see if I can find this uh, uni. Uh, this uni here real quick. I was aware of Fraggle Rock when it was airing. I remember thinking the theme song was catchy, but I didn't watch it. Yeah, I watched it pretty, pretty regularly. Um, Fraggle Rock is the best Henson show. Maybe. Uh, Uni. Let's see. Uni Mitsubishi. The Uni Mitsubishi account. Oh boy, they're doing a whole thing. Okay. Wow. I guess I'm going to have to talk about this. Sorry, chat. I'd love to show you what this pen looks like, except it's built on a whole thing that ruins it. I guess, is this it? Ow. So far, I guess it's just this top corner, or is this it? This is it. <laughs> I like how the translation just calls it jet stream ocean plastic. <laughs> jet stream ocean plastic. I just picked up the Alice in Wonderland retro. It looks so good. That one looks good. And that's something like I'm not a fan of at all. That pin looks amazing. <sighs> it knows where it'll end up. Uh, so yeah, the ink. So these are barrel colors. Are the inks, um, are the inks going to be different? Sandwich beige. Light blue, sandwich beige, mist green. One of these things is not like the other ch other chat. Light blue, mist green, sandwich beige. Okay, so black, uh, just black refills. Black ink color, okay. Um, sure. Yeah, these are the new bodies. They have them on that, yeah, they're in there. Is this an ad for hymns? <laughs> no, the other one. The the main page is. This might be. Here, so y'all can. Autocorrect for sand. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's the translation for sand. Sand beige. Um, yeah, like I hate that I. Like I, I would I, I would like the whole picture here, please. Like these are fine. These are these are fine. <laughs> I just, you know, it'd be cool. I, I I see you working, uni social media team. I see you working. My man's writing him a letter. She's definitely not thinking about him. She's thinking about her own life. He's pining away at something. And then I have a half a pen here. Oh, this one's cool, though. Sky. Touch ink. Okay. I'm struggling a little bit, chat. Touch ink. Does anyone, can anyone figure out any translation for touch ink? I did, yeah, I touched ink earlier, right? Is, I, I'm wondering if it's just the feel of the barrel, the touch, the touch part, because the barrel has a texture on it. I think it's just the stock. It says light touch ink. That's what I can't figure out. I want to know if there's something different about light touch ink. Like touch grass, yeah. <laughs> I 
light touch ink. I mean, they use it right here. Hmm. Hydrate. I do need to hydrate. Hmm. Okay. So it'll be fine. Fine. Oh, let's look at this translation. Jetstream lifestyle remained, achieving a more smooth writing taste. This is the new choice of Jetstream, which is born amid the writing and drawing scene, diversifying depending on the times and environment. Check highlight new ink for details. It sounds like they might change the formulation. From the world's first... Okay, thank you, A. Miller. From the world's first revolutionary ink series that achieves addictive, smooth writing taste. Light touch ink has a smoother writing taste. Reduces writing resistance. Smoother. Ink blot and paper slippage. Hmm. Interesting. So this looks like a universal switch for the Jetstream ink. Just curious. All right, I'll read up on this more. I like I need this like ASAP. I So I have an interesting thought about the branding. If this is going to be the stock Jetstream ink, I would think the Jetstream name should stay. This is this is just one of those um, one of those stances I get on, like Tomoe River, right? If we're changing the ink. But it's not an ink option, right? It's all of it. If all of it is going to be now light touch, Jetstream light touch ink, we now have Jetstream ink and we have light touch ink. Shouldn't it just be the Jetstream ink and this is the new properties of the Jetstream ink? If this is going to be across the product lineup. Yeah, I need these like yesterday. There's nothing that gets me more excited than something like this. And like, that's not <laughs> hyperbole. <laughs> I want this bad. Yeah, Jetstream is synonymous with the hybrid ink that I'm such a champion of, right? So, I mean, yeah, it's Jetstream New Cloak, right? <laughs> So like in, even on this Instagram ad, it says, this is the new choice of Jetstream, which tells me all the Jetstream ink is now going to be this ink. Like 100%, which is fine. Yeesh. Jetstream Dark Lilac. Um, note. Email. This is one... Good thing that came out of last year. I will email them, see if I can get an answer by tomorrow. Does lighter touch mean it's leaning more towards gel? Like this was already a smooth hybrid gel ballpoint ink to begin with. So, yes. There's a YouTube video in Japanese where the writer uses it and looks much darker than regular regular dress name. Do you have a link, Terps? I'd be happy to look at, look at that. It's the Jetstream now with more Jetstream. All right, see you, Redneck. Hmm. They have some... Um... Oh, are you talking about the Jetstream multi-pins? So it's, that's that one, that's this one. All right. Oh, look at that. This website's amazing. We're gonna go back to that. Let's watch the video first. 
All right, so this is a, wow, this is a 12 minute video. Um, I'm gonna start this and I'm gonna see if we get in trouble with like music or whatever. I mean, that seemed very much darker. The multi pins look sweet. God, that alpha is so good. I don't know how to do it. Alright, right, so what is this? This looks like a... What is this? This looks like an Oto or something. Nah, I don't know what pen that is. Retro Signo, two jet streams, and a retro. There should be an option to translate the post caption. Click for settings. Thank you. I don't think I've ever done that. It's heavier. I wonder I was gonna I was wondering if the um if it was gonna be built like the R right with the brass insert. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize if you're not into this. I am very interested in this. Oh, that one's cool. I thought that was an RT. Jet Slim. Jet Stream Slim. So these, all of those pins are the old versions. Or the currently existing versions. That looks rubbery. Oh, on which one? On the new one? Sorry, I'm... Uh... So this looks like the R grip. Which I'll show y'all in a minute. She's laughing because it's extremely different. Hmm. I always thought the jet stream was pretty dark as it is. What size was this one? Oh, 0.5. She has it on the page. Wow. She says the old one, it's very different in writing from the old one in pressure, which is, hence the name. Hmm. 
I always thought the black was too light, though it was dark for a ballpoint. Yeah, Jason, it's it's definitely relative. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it coming colors already? <laughs> Sorry, I just skipped. Oh, wait, we don't need to see that much. Is it smooth enough that all that ideas float down the stream of imagination? That's true. I don't, I'm not sure. All right, let me see these colors in this multi pin. So, this is the classic, this is the standard. And this is. I mean, yeah, sure. Red and green are really tough ballpoint colors to get right. Alright. Wow. Is this like Inception or something? I'm a little bit scared. I think I might be recruited into the cult if I go through this website. I was thinking as she was writing with the black, I was like, wow, if this is some new ink formulation, I wonder if it's going to be better suited to do some more colors. Like they do the BLXs, you know, the black plus um, in jet streams, but they never have really leaned into them. Sorry, this is where I get really, this distracts me more than like the new fountain pens do. All right, I can't read any of this. So someone was asking about the grip. Hang on one second. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to come back to this, but I'll show you since someone was asking. So this is the 1R, and I'm assuming it's a very, uh, it's going to be a grip like this, where this looks, they either have uh, straight plastic, or I can't tell if it's rubberized. So like the ones have a rubberized uh, section about right here, which I don't have. I don't have on my desk. So um, this one's smooth without a rubberized, but the ones have a rubberized section right there, so I can't tell. Yeah, I couldn't tell if these were uh, images and not, uh, were not, te were, oops, sorry. I was almost thinking these were images and not really text. Some of them are images, but some translates. How do I translate in Firefox? I wouldn't think it would be that hard. Translate page. Yeah. That's not really working for me. Not not a big deal. I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Uh the multi pins look good. <sighs> Select the text and right click. I have a red Schmidt ballpoint in my road and I like the big round stick of red a little bit better. Red's a really tough ballpoint color to get right. You almost never get a nice dark red. Plain design that fits comfortably in your hand, a durable clip that fits neatly in your notebook or pocket, even more comfortable with a mechanism that suppresses noise and vibration when writing. Wow, okay. That's the blend marketing. Internal mechanism that prints the knock rod from vibrating when writing. Is that on this page, Naper Villain? It's like Zebra Berlin beat him to the punch. That is the text for single, where for this one. Wow. Okay, I'll check all this out. I don't I don't want to bore I've already bored y'all enough. 
this is why I do this stuff. Like I'm like super, yeah, I'll put this in Safari and figure it out easier. I just have Fire, Firefox on this machine, so I'll worry about it later. Um, sick. Need an extension in Firefox? That's lame. This, so they're leaning into that one style, the one R's, the one S, one F. Is that the correct nomenclature? It it was the Uniball one Gixer. So it's different from the standard one. So the standard one is, you know, the white one, and then they have a rubberized grip, and then they don't have a metal tip section. This has a brass, so this is the R. It has a brass tip section, and it really kind of changed everything for me. Um, there's an insert down there that's brass. So the weight changed to the front end. This is the R, I believe. Is this the F? I reviewed this one. Let me find you the review. Allegedly. You think it's the F? There's too many. The pocket one is P? Yeah, what's the R then? Am I just, just wrong across the board? Did I not tag this review? What a mess. Who runs this site? So there's the original one. So the one F, okay. So I'm just making that up then. Okay, thank you. One F, one F. So one F. So you wanna look for the one with a metal tip like that there. And the, as compared to the standard, um, which just has the plastic conical tip there. My apologies. F, 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 F. Where's my review of it though? I thought I did a whole review of it. All right, let's do a giveaway. Cause my whole, my, my mind has been blown. Great. Great stuff today, chat. Goodness gracious. I didn't like the pocket one. They're pretty wide. They're pretty wide. And they're like seven bucks, right? Even this one, the F is 450, which is crazy expensive. The pocket one, which one of them is like seven dollars, isn't it? Aren't they? Is, Sick, yeah. I bought this one. Six fifty. I don't. I don't understand why that one's so much. Did you win? I mean, in life, Ruben, you win in life. All right, we're just going for it this morning. Man, this is some old school stuff. Yeah, the F is four fifty, but this one's six fifty. I ha I bought this one. I don't know that I'm even gonna review it. All right, let's give away an old tactile turn. Probably a prototype. This is from cleaning out the um, closet of doom. So this is a really really old tactile turn OG Schmidt mechanism sorry um, the the barrel separation is in a different spot now um, it's got the threading on the front end 
uh, the anodization is actually almost two tone here. You can see the color. It actually kind of looks pretty cool, but it's not supposed to be that way. This fits the Pilot G2 refill, so the juice. Um, and yeah, like this was right in front of the uh, of the ice box of happiness, and I felt like doing it. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. I guess I should start it right. I'm really, that jet stream is weighing on me in a, like a very positive way. I'm like, wow. So this is probably a prototype. Um, you know, no guarantees. It's not gonna fall apart on you or something, but it looks pretty sick. <laughs> uh, the movers and the shakers, yeah. I don't know which one was what. Have you done a stationary, stationary pilgrimage to Japan yet? No, but wow. We'll have to one day. Time. Well, I just, I literally wrote a note to email them. All right, this giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. Those are words that I use. Um, I will mail you this pen. Um, yeah. Wow. So the reason why I keep thinking about this is because I can't help extrapolate it into other things. So like the um, the Uni, the SXR, the the Parker style Jetstream refill is that going to change now? I think we're going to change that. That that is. I think we're going to change that anyway with like some of the spoke stuff with the roadies. So it's probably good timing. Wow. Oh, toasty treat. Just like literally what has happened on this stream this morning times what? Like a million? Like I would go into a store, I wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to leave or something. Ridiculous. Mm. So I think I have that little purple guy in here somewhere. So there's that one that I bought. What would you change to in the roadie? Uh, Schmidt. Um, what's the regular Schmidt one? I'm blanking. Easy Flow 9000. This, the Parker style Schmidt. <laughs> Brad just keels over in a Toya. Yeah, I don't understand why this one's so much more expensive. You'd think they'd be about the same price. I traveled to Japan before I was really in a stationary. Now I feel so much disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, the, the knock on this one's better. Do I like the pocket one? I'd rather just, I'd rather have a skinny short one. What is the refill like in this? I've never really explored this pen. I just bought it. I bought it after I fell in love with this one, but I've never really used it. So it's the same thing, huh? It, I guess that's why it feels different. It's the, the refill goes way up into the knock. The pocket one is brass weighted. So I don't know if you can see it in there, but I can see it in there. So yeah, anything with this tip has the weighting. It's just a little weird. Um, yeah, I'm surprised it takes the same refill. Like, hey, do these two pins take the same refill? Yes, they do. So the refill in this one, I think why it feels different, it goes all the way up into here, and you can see it's wider. The refill goes up to here in this pin, where over here it's probably, you know, right there. So it's wild. It's expensive probably because the mechanism allows the use of the same size refill even though it's much shorter. There's actually less hardware up here on the internals than this one would be. This one has like the traditional mechanism I feel like. This one the refill literally goes up into the into the knock. It's probably more expensive because it's a different shape than a lot of their standards. Like this probably has like some a lot of standard tooling 
here, and this is a super unique shape, and they probably made less. This one just feels infinitely better to click. You can hear it. This one's just a rock. This one's kind of wonky. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all are really getting a look inside my brain in this stream today. Harder for me to write with the P version with its wide grip and shorter length. Yeah. Like, in a vacuum, I think it looks kind of cool. I just think it's very useful. I'm looking for a pen to carry with my passport travelers. Not this one. <laughs> this is bigger than your passport travelers. You like the P? I heard that about you. All right, let's pick a winner. Cast out no four. Let's go. <laughs> Cast out. Are you present? You must be present to win. Let's see if this refill even writes. All right, you win. You've won before, right? Not a first time or maybe a first time. Mm. That's only sort of rights. Twice? Okay, I was thinking so. All right, so email me, hello at pinact.com. Tell me you won the tactile turn. Tell me your Twitch handle. And uh, let me see if I can get this. Ooh. Let me see if we can get this refill writing, because I don't know. I'm sure I could find a different refill. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, got it. Ooh, we are almost done here with our Shebas. Just a handful left. Then we, where's our bacon and eggs? I think I moved them. The Orlando Pin Club bacon and eggs. Wow. I'm feeling some kind of way this morning about that jet stream. In my world, which consists of the space between my ears, that's like big news. Off of pins for a second, super thrilled for the notice. Got into watches last year, have three, and been trying to decide on which watch to be my orange watch. <laughs> thank you for making that decision for me. So here's a cool thing. Oh, number one, thank you, OSU. Uh, that watch fits you perfectly. Um, I'm getting the prototype that Michael took the pictures with is coming to me, apparently. So I'm going to get, I should have it this week. So I'll get to show you. It doesn't have like the final, like the, the pin addict, um, etching on the back, um, of the case and stuff like that. But, uh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it in hand. So that should be cool. That should be cool. Okay. Um, I feel completely discombobulated. So what do y'all want to look at? Uh, what do y'all want to look at now? Penad, use the Ajoto tool loop on my Hobo Techo A6 on vacation last week. It was perfect. Thanks for the giveaway. That's the exact perfect size for that. Oh, ooh, I know what we can do. All right, instead of doing the station, we might hold the stationary stash stuff for tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, I'm staring at it here on the floor, but I need to go through it. Um, I don't know if I feel like doing that, but I did say I need to test my Ajoto paper because it might not be as fountain, print, fountain pen friendly as I hoped based on Paul's review, based on Paul's boutique. So let's do, let's do a fountain pen test in the Ajoto notebook. I have yet to use it, chat. So let's do that real quick. And then we'll do another giveaway and then um, we'll probably wrap it, you know, maybe 30 minutes or so. I can't say too long today. All right, so we're going to do a live test. Let's see how this goes. So love this notebook, love the notebook case. So I believe I need to check and make sure this should be the number two notebook. But I don't think there's a way. Is there a way on the cover to tell? 
if it's the number two. Right? I don't think there's a way. I think the cover's all black. If you have a separate room for your pin hobby, what features furniture would be in it? That's really smart. I'd have an even bigger desk. I'd have a huge desk. Like, um, like huge, like butcher board desks, a stainless steel sink. That's a good idea. And then some rolling carts. I don't I have, the biggest thing, I'd probably have to figure out a shelf for my notebooks and ink. Okay. Let's see here. Have you seen those desks that have secret compartments? I have. Those are cool. Yeah, like Toga's talking about. Okay. So, this should be the number two. With the deboss lines, it should say on the inside cover page. Do I have this upside down? Okay. I see deboss lines. That is hard to see. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Holy mercy. I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. That is hard to see. I should get a pen. I should get a pencil. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Number two. Okay. Paper. Pocket paper number two. It's so debossed you can't even see it. Okay. I was just making sure I put the right one in here. So number two... Should be the most fountain pen friendly. We're about to find out, man. Are you telling the truth? So we're gonna go, we're gonna start off with a bang. We're gonna go with the inkiest pen I have right now. Ooh, I got two very inky pens here. Ooh, I got three very, very inky pens here. All right, let's do inkies. And I like to pregame them a little bit. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Paul's review was concerning. Oh man, lots of pink here. All right, let's start with this one. So this is... Well, it's certainly smooth, I will say that. This is... This nib has been great in this pen. Okay. So then we'll do, this is, we'll go ahead and kind of fill up this page and give everything a chance to dry and then see what it looks like. Look at me with all these wide nibs going, chat. What's up with that? Am I okay? Do I need to check me for a fever? We have our monarch. So someone sent me a picture um, of a bunch of spoke pins with a monarch in it. It was sick. I'm gonna have to do that. This is, and I'll I'll have to do it another time after this because um, this is the only monarch I have, the only monarch I plan on having. Um, but putting that in a spoke pen that'd be pretty cool. Uh, this is the Ajoto like uh, it's just their Ajoto notebook number two paper. The case the cover came from their Kickstarter campaign. Another pink here. So this is Kobe. What we say this was number forty-one. 
Sure. Uh, Lamy Cliff. Uh, let's try a couple of these here. I don't know if it's the Deatra Menace Document Brown or this Y Studio, but this one always dries out. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. Oh, we have the Kaweco. Do that. Lummy Cliff. So this is. Um, all right, we've got a little few smaller nibs now. Today is perfectly balanced as all things should be. Put the document brown on a different pen? I probably need to. I like it in that pen, I just need to get it going. It dries out a lot, but I think it's probably more the pen than the ink. Uh, and this is Lamy. I did this backwards. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, last one, then we'll kind of take a look here. Did this one backwards too. Take a look. All right. All right. So let me see what we got here. So I will say one thing on this side of the page. We haven't looked at the back yet. Um, I'm not seeing any feathering, but what I am not seeing is the sheen that I would expect from Lamy Violet Blackberry. This is a very sheeny ink. And that tells you that the paper is absorbent, generally speaking. There's only very little sheen, probably not enough sheen that I could show you on here. Because then you could do something like the, um, let me just write this on here real quick. Um, the shading came out okay in 
the pink. Most of these other ones aren't real shaders, though. Go creme. All right, so let's see if there's bleeding. Um, I'm not really having the bleeding. Paul, did you see much bleeding through? Like, this actually seems pretty okay. The only... This actually seems completely fine. It's just a little bit flat, if you will, character-wise. Look like the Trader Joe's font. No one's ever said that. I'd have to go look at that. I've never looked at that. I mean, I've seen the logo, but I haven't seen the font. So this doesn't seem bad to me. Um, I'd say the paper is just a slightly absorbent because I'm not getting like pops of sheen. You had a bit of bleeding. See, I don't even see any. Like maybe like on the where I pulled the pin at the end, of, the end of my Y's here on the broad. That one. And then what is that? Oh, that's the little arrow I drew in here. So yeah, that's not much. I mean, it's not like... What was that? Smarticus. Thank you for the follow. So yeah, I mean, there's some ghosting for sure. Like you can see through the back, but like that's a big um, stack nib, like no bleeding. The violet blackberry did with the big broad nib. The smaller nibs didn't. And then this is platinum carbon black here. Verdict passed. Uh, verdict passed, but average, right? It's not like a spectacular paper. Right, it's not like a um, Tomoe River type of paper or even like a Midori type of paper. Um, it's a very mid-ground paper, like it's mid. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, right? Um, I think the shading is gonna show off good. Like the, the, the pink, um, the Kobe 41 is very shaded. Had no idea I stream. I've checked your site many times over the years. Thanks, Smarticus. Yeah, we have been streaming a few times a week. We don't stream a lot, but we do stream a little bit. Um, I need, I don't have a more shading pen to try, but I really like how this looks. And I like how these two look are really good and the apricot are really good. Um, so I'm going to show you the difference here in what an absorbent paper looks like as opposed to like a paper that um, the ink sits on top, right? So the dry time is obviously going to be like super fast on this type of paper. But when you look at the Blackberry here, right, I'm, I'm really hard pressed to get you uh, fountain pen friendly adjacent, just a little jagged on some of those letters. See, I don't even see the jaggies. I don't even see that. Well, maybe right here. Maybe on the Blackberry, on the broad. Maybe a little bit on some of these letters here. I need to write like a whole page with like one of these inks and see. Um, but what I what I what you're not getting here for sure is the sheen of Lamy Violet Blackberry. So look at that. And then this, I mean, this is okay, this could be an unfair comparison. But it's also, it's an ink characteristic that some people might want to see. That's Sansen. Right? So that's the difference between an absorbent, I think it's just an absorbent page as opposed to uh, a page where it's going to sit up a little bit on the top. Right, Paul? I think that's my feeling. It is deadly smooth, right? It is super smooth. If I had like a really, really extra fine nib, I think it's going to be... A good one yeah the um the blackberry is where i see it that's also uh my handwriting stroke so i'm you know but you're getting none of that sheen there on violet blackberry at all the y is also part of my stroke right if you look at the other y that's that's the biggest uh offender is the broad sailor king of pen of violet blackberry So the finer nibs look good. So yeah, like inky pens, like I wouldn't say this is like one of the great fountain pen papers, bar none, like it's just not, but it's good. Like I would use this with fountain pens and like not think twice about it. You're just, you are going to miss out some of the characters that a tradition, that a, a highly specific, like a Japanese paper would offer. This is a Jodo. This is number two, paper number two. So they have a one, two, and three. 
um, designed for different things. This is designed to be the fountain pen one. Technically, yes. Um, it is a very mid-range paper. I've used a lot better and I've used a lot worse. So that's probably a pretty pretty low grade then. Like, right? I would want more. I would want more from it, I think, is overall. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's just not... It, it's, it's not better in any category than any other paper, right? So like you could say like sands and you might not like it, but it's going to sheen better, right? It's going to have a one, what is one thing um, that's going to work well for that paper, right? And this is a super middle paper, like middle ground right across the middle so um i will definitely use this notebook though and i actually want to use it more um to do some i'll do some writing tests in here so i, I want to do like whole pages of uh not as good as one would expect for a special project kickstarter funded fountain pen paper agree i do agree with that yeah i would expect more than average dry time versus sheen display yeah very dry Quick dry time. So yes, based on expectations, it is below expectations. I'd say for sure. It is not a knock your socks off page. It's a perfectly fine page. So we'll play with it some more. Um, and figure out what works best. I'm really liking this Monarch in it. And the cream. Oh, this Omos Sepia. And the Apricot Pearl. This is a Johto paper. Ooh. I need to try um, number one for their pens for like the Schmidt refills. Like this is the Schmidt, um, whoops. So that's the blue Schmidt refill, which I need to try this on the number one paper. <clears throat> Which I don't even know where I have. It's around here somewhere. I haven't opened that one up yet. <clears throat> so yeah. Verdict. I'd like a little more. I'd like a little more. It's just average. And I expected more than average. Brad, what ref what refill is in the Ajoto pen? Schmidt, they use Schmidt P eighty one twenty sevens. Oh, all right, let's do another giveaway here. Let me pick some of this stuff up. Let's do another giveaway, then we're probably gonna wrap it up today, chat. Got some other things to do. Places to go, people to see. Let me just not throw pins on the floor, that would be good. All right, so let's see. Give away a pen. Let's see if I can find some. Seems more of a ball pen paper than FP. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. It actually might be too smooth for a ball pen paper. Their paper number one has texture. This one is not textured. Um, I don't think it would be a good ball pen paper, honestly. I think it would be good for fountain pens especially finer fountain pens, which is what I want to explore. And then their paper number one with texture. I want a little texture when I'm using like a ballpoint pen. So. But that one I haven't tested out yet. All right. 
Let's get weird, chat. Let's get weird. In honor. In honor of the Notco. Joke's on you, I'm already weird. Did you see me? Did you watch this entire stream? <laughs> You're definitely in the right place. Uh, in honor of the random Notco product um, appearing on a video, let's give away one of the most random Notco products that very few people have. And it's not the Brass Town. It's the Coleman. So this was our stand-up pin case, and it is so good. One of the more underrated pin cases we ever made. And we didn't make a ton of these. So, yeah, it's really good. I bought a Rickshaw Sinclair knock. Nice. I love that. They, Rickshaw does a, did a really good job with the knocks. I really appreciate that. So, this is essentially a pin cup. You have the Coleman in olive orange. That's the goat one, I think. So, we did three colors. Olive orange was the first. That's my favorite. So, the pen, there's pen slots in here, and you fill it up, and then it's like a stand-up stand up pen case. Pen's not included in the giveaway chat. Pen's not included. And then, like, I use this for, like, markers and stuff, because you do this, you put it around the sides, then you fill up the middle, you can fit, like, 20 pens in here. Then you take them, take it like this, tie it up, then it's portable, like this, keeps the pen safe. And then when you're ready to use it, fold it back down. Then you have your pin cup ready to go. Boom. Um, this came to life um, out of a koozie we made <laughs> when we were drinking beer one day in the design department. <laughs> A Coleman fits a loaded brass town. Interesting. So this came out of a, a koozie that Jeff had made and was drinking beer out of one day in the case. And we said, well, other people make stand-up pen cases. What if we just made this koozie like a bottle holder and then put pens on the inside of it? So some people who keep these on their desk, um, well, I'm not going to inverse this. Some people will turn this completely inside out, and then the pins are on the outside, um, which is super, super strange. <laughs> and I ordered what I thought was a Field Notes National Parks Hawaii, but it's fake printed in Poland. That's unbelievable. All right, so let's give this away. <sighs> exactly. Exactly, Paul. All right, so... All right, this giveaway is open. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. I have too many pins in my pin cup, so I have to clip them to the outside too. I gotcha. So we did this one, we did a pink and green one. Um, and then we did the olive orange one. I don't think I, I'll have to see if I even own an orange, orange one. I might have kept one for myself. I'm not even sure though. All right, what's that, Evan? Ah. That's like, uh, that's some I dip bananas in the coffee stuff right there. That's hilarious. Extra safe. I like, yeah. I have more comments on that, but I'm gonna refrain. <laughs> We're just gonna end it right there. You want bananas? Oh, wow. 
I wasn't far off. Um, speaking of bananas, did you see um, I dip bananas into coffee's banana pin? It's legit amazing. Let me find this real quick. Let me come off of here because who knows what I'm going to search for. This pen is amazing. Like, no cap. Look at that. Should I mail field notes about the fake? If you got it directly from field notes, I would. I would email who you um, who you ordered it from. Or are you saying just you ordered it from someone else and notify them about the fake? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Do you have a store to buy pens? Uh, the internet. Mostly. <laughs> if you're looking for something specific, I don't have a local pen store. I thought this pen came out really, really well. <sighs> yeah, that nib is something, isn't it? What is it? What's on it? They don't say. Oh, look, I replied to that. Oh, they replied to me. What did they say? <laughs> awesome. So, really cool. <clears throat> All right, let's pick a winner for this pin case. Banana adjacent. Uh, you enjoyed friend of the show yesterday. Lisa's cool. Oh, thank you. And someone else said that. Uh, da, 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 da. Did someone else say that? Uh, appreciate that, Bork Ben Bork. Uh, Lisa, I have known for a long time um, and is super awesome. Like, it was like talking to, you know, just like an old friend. Um, we have like a huge crossover in like the things that we like. So she's always sharing stuff with me. It's It's very cool. Um, and then, of course, if you listen to the show, you will know that she followed up with like a five or six bullet point email for, that I have yet to respond to. So that'll all make sense if you if you uh, listen to that episode. All right, pick a winner. Front me, front me, you win. Ah, uh, so it looks like someone just straight ripping off field notes. It'd be worth it'd be worth an email with a link saying, "Hey, look at this." I don't know what their processes are like. Some people go go very aggressively after that. Some people don't, but it certainly wouldn't. I like. I'd like to know, like if it was me. So, friend me, woo! All right, friend me, email me, hello at penact.com. Tell me your shipping address. Tell me you won the knock Coleman. Tell me your Twitch handle. All right, we're down to our last three doggos. Down to our last three doggos. Man, I need my washi tape dispenser back in here. Because this is not going to stick. We'll try it, though. All right, good enough. <coughs> all right, I think we're going to wrap it here today, chat. Um, I really appreciate all of the links today. New field, wait a minute, a field notes released before the stream? Ooh, this looks cool. Let's see what we got here. The Flora edition. Ah, oh, those are nice. Those are super pretty, that's right up my alley. What's the deeds? Glossy red tables. One ruled, one dot graph. One ruled, one dot graph, one plane. None of which I prefer over the regular grid. Back with the seed packets. Ooh, that's cool. I really like these. Super cool. 
All right, see you, Gixer. Hey, glad you found us. Appreciate you hanging out. Um, we stream um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, 10 a.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays, about 11.30 on Wednesdays after our podcast. So there you go. Um, really cool. I like these. I'm in. I'm not going to buy them, though, because I really need grid field notes. Like, that is pretty much how I operate. Um, unless I just can't stand.